Welcome to All Grown Up Now, Tales of a Checkered Past. I'm Kenneth D. King, podcasting from my studio near Union Square in New York City. This podcast is an evolution of the tale, All Grown Up Now, A Friendship in Three Acts. This is season two, and it's called Tales of a Checkered Past. It's a collection of short stories from my salad days on up to the present. In each podcast, another self-contained story will be presented. These podcasts will be broadcast bi-weekly, so you get two a month. Enjoy. Episode 82 is a story called The White Cow. This story is from my college days in Oklahoma. It's short, but the lesson I learned that day in class has stayed with me from then on. Especially these days, I need to remind myself what I learned from the white cow. I went to college in Oklahoma in the late 1970s at a college that at the time was called Central State University in Edmond, Oklahoma. It's since been renamed, but I haven't bothered to learn what the name is. Central State University it was and shall remain in my mind. I got my bachelor's degree there. One of the required courses was English composition. My professor was named Dr. Goldstein. I remember him as having longish, frizzy hair, and he dressed in rumpled, tweedy clothes. He also wore wire-rimmed John Lennon glasses. Remember, this was the 1970s. Today, I still see men who look quite like him on the Upper West Side here in New York. And as I remember, Dr. Goldstein came from New York. How he got to Oklahoma City, I just can't imagine. Dr. Goldstein was a bit unorthodox in his teaching. Our writing lessons were undertaken and mostly completed in class, and he used different means to start the writing process. One time, he showed us the film The Loved One. In Wikipedia, the plot is summarized as follows. The Loved One is a 1965 black-and-white comedy film about the funeral business in Los Angeles, which is based on The Loved One, an Anglo-American tragedy, 1948, a short satirical novel by Evelyn Waugh. It was a black and white film, but it was also a black comedy. To me and the other students, it was the height of bizarre. We had never seen anything like it before. This was a consciousness-raising experience before that particular phrase had been invented. After we saw the film, we were assigned an essay. I can't remember what I said. I just remember the movie. However, the writing assignment that is the title of this piece, I do indeed remember. This was the setup. Dr. Goldstein gave us a hypothetical situation, and we were tasked with writing a paragraph in answer to the question. And this was the question. You awake in the middle of the night to see the vision of a white cow at the foot of your bed. Why a white cow? I don't know. This cow speaks to you. She says, you have one wish. What would that wish be? You have ten minutes. We all set to writing, thinking as deeply as we could. For me, it was an easy answer. I wanted a white Cadillac Eldorado convertible. I know, I was 19 and shallow. When our time was up, Dr. Goldstein called upon different students to read what they had written. One wanted a million dollars. Again, it was the late 1970s. That was a lot of money. Another wanted a new wardrobe. Yet another wanted to be famous. I, of course, wanted the convertible. This went on until everyone in the class had read their assignment. Then Dr. Goldstein looked out over the class. He asked this question. What do all of these answers have in common? 
We all sat there, scratched our heads and various other body parts, and he let us sit and think for what felt like a month. Then he spoke. These are all things that you believe will make you happy, and they might in the moment. But, he continued, if you were to wish for happiness, your wish would be better served. I don't know about how this lesson affected my fellow students, but it hit me with a wallop. This was a piece of information that I didn't even realize I had been searching for. As I've mentioned in previous podcasts, my teen years were fraught with all sorts of upheaval. Life was a challenge, what with a crazy mother, being an oddball sissy boy in Oklahoma, and all of that bullying. A couple of years before, I had learned the lesson from Miss Anne's lawyer, Harry, about just hanging on and surviving so I could get away from all of it. But what was I hanging on for? What was I just surviving to escape to? Escape from the chaos of my life. But was this just like that Cadillac convertible? Would it make me happy for the moment? If you were to wish for happiness, your wish would be better served. This was another important piece of information. In a way, it completed the information that Harry had imparted. It gave me a destination. Not escaping from, but escaping to. Not an absence of chaos, but the presence of happiness. I look at all of the decisions that flowed from that moment. Coming out, moving to San Francisco, starting my own business, moving to New York, getting married. These decisions all represent destinations, forward motion, moving towards something rather than escaping something. These were all decisions that, while challenging in their way, were me wishing for happiness and as a result, my wish was better served. I've been thinking about that white cow these days. As COVID is still with us and the country is roiled with division and chaos, I'm asking myself, I want to escape this, but the vision of the white cow counsel me to wish for happiness, to move towards rather than escaping from. To say I figured this out yet would be untrue. That answer hasn't wholly revealed itself to me yet. So, I'll wait and listen for the white cow. In the meantime... I need to dwell on and be thankful for the pieces of happiness that I do have. A lovely husband, interesting work, a circle of good friends, and my home in a wonderful city. There's never been a time of perfect happiness in my life, but the overall balance tips in that direction. As I wrote this, I realized that perhaps the white cow has just spoken. Thanks for listening. You can get the audiobook All Grown Up Now on iTunes Audible and Amazon, or from my website, allgrownupnow.com. You can subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, SoundCloud, Stitcher, Spotify, and Google Play. If you have any questions, you can reach me through the website, allgrownupnow.com. You can follow me on Instagram at Kenneth D. King, on Facebook at Kenneth D. King Design, or 
on my main website, kennethdking.com. <laughs>